How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over another leak code question. Today our question is from Google and our question is called Boats to Sea. Okay guys, so today our question is from Google. Our question is called Boats to Save People. Our problem description says the ith person has weight people I and each boat can carry a maximum weight of limit. Each boat carries at most two people at the same time, provided the sum of the weight of those people is at most limit. Return the minimum amount of boats to carry every given person. And they also tell us here that it's guaranteed that each person can be carried by a boat. So, it sounds like there's some boats, I don't know, there's some trouble or something, we're trying to cross a river, whatever it is, and we need to save everyone. Uh, I feel like this is a lot of pressure for an interview. Like, not only if you fail, do you not get, you know, you don't get the job, but it also sounds like everyone dies. Um, anyways, our problem says, or our example says, if our input people is equal to one, two, and our limit is three, we want to return one. And the reason for that is we only need one boat to take over two people who are of weight one and of weight two, because the boat can carry weight three. Cool. So example, example two, if we have people three, two, two, one, and our limit's three, well, we only need three boats, right? Because one boat can hold person of weight one, person of weight two. A second boat can carry a person of weight two, and our third boat can carry a person of weight three. Uh, for a final example, if people, I don't know if you guys can see this, so I'm going to copy it over here. But if our people is three, five, three, four, and our limit is five, our output's going to be four because we need four boats, right? We can't add any of these people together to uh, carry them over together. So we need four individual boats, all uh, of which will just carry one different person. So, how do we solve this problem? So the first thing I think that's important to consider, and there's kind of a couple hints in this problem, uh, the first thing is that we're guaranteed that each person uh, can be carried by a single boat. So that's good. So we know that there's no case where someone is too heavy to actually be carried over by a boat, so everyone can actually be saved. So worst case, right, we just give one boat to each person, everyone is saved. But the real question is we want the minimum number of boats. So the other thing that's important here is each boat can carry at most two people at the same time, provided that the sum of their weight is at most the limit. So we can always carry two people if it's possible. So what we really want to do for this problem is we want to always try and carry two people, right? Because if we can carry two people, we'll use inevitably less boats. So what we want to do is we want to try and take two people if we can. And so then that just comes down to, well, how do we match people? So we're always told that we, a boat can carry at most one person. So what we can really try and do is match the heaviest person, and then if there's still room, throw the lightest person in. And if there's not room, right, so if the heaviest person is, you know, exceeding or close to the weight, if we've actually tried to take the lightest person, there's no better person to pick, so it's guaranteed that we just have to take this one person over by themselves. So what we really want to do again in this problem is somehow ask ourselves, can we carry two people? If we can, let's take the heaviest person, pair them with the lightest, and go over. And if it's not possible, we're just going to take that one person over and then ask the same question again. So a really easy way to do this, guys, is we first want to just sort the array of people so that we can very quickly try that pairing with the heaviest person and the lightest person at any given iteration. So we're going to say arrays.sort people. And now this is just some starter stuff, uh, some boilerplate kind of, but we need a variable to return, right? So it probably makes sense to name it numboats just because we're going to return the minimum number of boats. So we're going to say int numboats. And this is obviously going to start at zero because we actually haven't taken anyone over the river or away from the lines or whatever, you know, they're getting away from. So now what we said we want to do is we want to have pointers, right? So we always need to be able to access the lightest person, which will be at the beginning of the array, and the heaviest person, which will be at the end of the array. So we're going to have two pointers, i and j, to just point to those people. And those will start at the zeroth person and the last person. So we're just going to say int i equals zero and int j equals people dot length minus one so that we're pointing at the first and the last person or in other words the heaviest and the lightest person. So now what we want to do is we just want to say okay while we haven't gotten everyone off this island or this like lion infested jungle whatever it is we need to try and save these people. So we're going to say well i is less than or equal to j because that means we haven't done all our work because we haven't saved everyone. We need to ask ourselves the question, right? So the question again is, can the heaviest person be paired with the lightest person? And if they can, we're going to take both of them. So if people of i plus people of j is less than or equal to our limit, then we can take both of them. 
right? So what we want to do is we just want to make sure that we decrement those pointers so that next time we don't consider the same people because we've already saved them. So we're going to say i plus plus and j minus minus so we no longer consider them. But what happens if we can't take the heaviest person and the lightest person? Well, we know then we can only take the heaviest person, right? Because everyone is guaranteed to be able to be brought over in one vote alone. And we actually just tried to pair the heaviest person with the lightest person. So there's no better person to choose. Uh, there's no other point in comparing any other people with that heaviest person. So if that's the case, we can only actually save that jth person, right? Or the heavy person. So we can only decrement J and not I, because we don't want to skip or forget about that, that lighter person. So now once either of these cases have actually executed, we've still only used one boat, so we just say num boats plus plus. And so this logic will continue, we'll either decrement j, decrement j, decrement both of them, right? We'll somehow get together. We have i less than or equal to j, which guarantees that we don't forget about the person in the middle. So once this loop terminates, all we really have to do is return our number of boats. And just to talk quickly about the runtime, the only real thing we're doing here is sorting the array, which will be done in n log n time, where n is the number of people. Um, there's no extra memory used, right? So it's just constant memory. We just have a few variables to help us keep track of some stuff. But other than that, we're not actually using extra memory. So let's make sure that the solution works. Let's submit our code. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve boats to save people. I hope this is helpful. If it was, do me a favor, leave this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time.